Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at subtitles on YouTube, and basically, how to change them. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we'll be taking a look at the subtitles in YouTube on uh, both the Edge browser and also in Google Chrome. Those are obviously probably the two most popular ones. Uh, the same may apply for other browsers. I'm not entirely sure, but you can certainly try it and see if it works for you. Essentially, it is mostly down to the settings actually in YouTube itself. So you should find the settings very similar. Unfortunately, for mobile users, there uh, doesn't appear to be any obvious changes you can make to it other than actually turning the subtitles on and off, which, again, can be quite useful and the principle is the same. So if you're not sure how to actually turn on subtitles in your favorite YouTube videos, then this will be really helpful. And for those of you that have found that when you do turn the subtitles on, that they're absolutely minuscule and you can't actually read them, then this is gonna be fantastic for you. So let's head over to the computer and we'll take a look. So we're on our normal Windows desktop, so let's open up Chrome to begin with. Choose Mike's Unboxing. And go to the YouTube channel. And let's choose a video. So let's maybe go with this one. So this is the uh, the normal layout. So what you want to do is in this bottom section here, there is CC, which stands for Subtitles or Closed Captions. So if you're watching one of my videos and you don't understand the uh, Bristolian dialect, then this can be really helpful. Now they're not exact subtitles on some, you do kind of get some uh, mispronunciations, etc. But essentially this is how you turn them on. So click on the button. And as you can see, there's some subtitles. Now for some of you, you may find that when you do this, your subtitles are actually um, a lot smaller or they look a little bit different, absolutely tiny. So the way to actually change those is actually in the settings cog. So to adjust the settings of the subtitles, they can be either on or off, it doesn't matter. As long as the video actually has subtitles on them at some stage, then it's absolutely fine. So we'll turn them on so you can see a visual representation. And what we wanna do is click on the settings cog and we'll go to subtitles. Now in the subtitle section, you've got the options for off, auto translate or English. And also in this top corner is options, which is the one we wanna concentrate on. So into options, and then we get this whole new menu come up. So we've got options for the font family. So we can go through and change the font. So you've got monospaced serif, proportional serif, monospaced sans serif. Basically, yeah, you get the general idea. So you can have all capitalized if you want to. But I actually quite like the uh, monospaced. It looks like a typewriter to me. So that's fantastic. We've cho chosen our font. So now we go back, we can choose our font color. So if you uh, struggle with visual stuff, then you can change whichever one. If you're colorblind or whatever, then you can change it to a color which is suitable for you. Uh, for me personally, I think green works really well. Very, very visual, but a little bit distracting. So we'll, uh, we'll stick with white for now. And also you can change things like the font size. So currently we're set at 100%. The default is normally about 50 or 70. So you get this kind of really tiny thing. But again, if you don't want to have massive subtitles because you don't want it to distract from the footage, then you can certainly choose that if you want to. But and obviously if you're visually impaired, then you can go for 100, 200, 300, even 400% if you wanted to. Now obviously this will change depending on the size of your own screen. So we're going to stick with 100 for now. Then we've got things like background color. So background color is actually quite a useful one. So if you want it to st stand right out, you can choose something like blue or magenta, or obviously reds, depending what your preference is and what your eyesight is like. This makes it stand out really, really well. So um, again, for those of you that are visually impaired, this is really good. If you choose white, um, it's not particularly good. Again, choose a color which suits you. So I'm gonna stick with blue for now. Then you've got the background opacity. So if you want to, you can have it so it doesn't kind of shine through or you can have none at all. So it's just subtitles on the background. Or if you want to make it really stand out boldly, then you can have 100% background opacity. Also, you've got things like the character edge style. So you can have drop shadows, to, you can have raised, depressed, or an outline. Um, I'm gonna set it to none, that to me looks quite sharp. And then you've got the font opacity. So if you don't want it to stand out too much, but you do want to see subtitles, you can maybe set that to 50% opacity, set that to zero. So then you've got some really faint text going over. Again, depending on what you're watching, if it's a film or something, then you may want to do that. 
um, or if you're trying to learn something, then obviously setting the background opacity to 100 and also the uh, font capacity to 100 gives you basically the, uh, the kind of utmost quality for your subtitles. So that is how to do it in YouTube. Basically, if you use Microsoft Edge, it's exactly the same principle because it basically the app works or the actual site works the same way. So you can do that in that as well. But hopefully this is going to be helpful to some of you. So if you're maybe watching something like this, which is a BIOS flash video, and I'm possibly talking a little bit too quickly and you don't quite understand it, then you can uh, briefly pause and the subtitles will stay there so you can actually read it and ingest or decipher what the heck it is I'm actually trying to say. So I think that's pretty much it. That's a, a quick overview on how to use subtitles in YouTube videos. Okay, so there you go. There's a uh, quick overview of how to use the subtitles feature in YouTube videos. Hopefully this can be helpful too. If it is, don't forget to give the video a like. And if you'd like to see this kind of content in your inbox on a uh, regular basis, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the chime icon, and you'll be notified of future video releases. So that leaves me with only one thing to say. I'll be Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.